Hello and welcome to everyone. I'm Francesca Gorni and today we will see how to create a job planning in STR Vision CPM. In the previous video we saw how to create an analyzed item. Inside the analysis we can insert information about cost and quantities, but we can also insert information regarding time. This kind of information can be used to create the Gantt chart. Inside the analysis of the item, we can set the duration of an activity. We set the unit execution time. The software will automatically calculate the execution time, multiplying the unit execution time by the quantity. When we will use this analyzed item in the estimate, the software will automatically calculate the duration of the activity, multiplying the unit execution time by the total quantity. The duration is also influenced by the analyzed quantity. In fact, if I double the analyzed quantity, the execution time will decrease. To calculate the duration in an automatic way, we have to set the duration as critical. If we don't set the critical duration in the analysis, the bar in the Gantt chart will have a standard duration of one day. Let's see now how to create a job planning using information from the estimate. In estimating, we select the estimate that we want to use. And we select the job planning function. We click on add and we select create new job plan from the estimate. We insert a code. A description. A start date and an end date. And we select Next. We can organize the Gantt chart using one or more groups that we had previously created. For example, I choose to organize my Gantt chart by item I click Next and End. Now we can see our new Gantt chart. As you can see, STR Vision CPM calculates the duration of the first two activities in an automatic way. While the third activity bar, that doesn't have a critical duration, has a standard length of one day. We can modify the duration of the activity, changing the number of resources. Or changing dates through the calendar. Or manually dragging the bar inside the chart. I can also set predecessors manually or typing it inside the tab. You can see in red the critical path. Thanks for your attention and see you next time.